Hello, welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Josh Bolton. The debt crisis is still unraveling as the European Union struggles to keep its pieces together. We start today, June 4th, in Germany, where the DAX fell below 6,000 points today for the first time since January. Its effects are the result of Spain's accumulating debt load. Some argue now is the time for the central bank to step in and keep Spain from spiraling out of control. Trader Robert Halver with Bader Bank. Es hat eine riesen Bankenkrise. Drei Jahre lang hat man nichts gemacht. Jetzt müssen die Kredite für Immobilien abgeschrieben werden. Das heißt, die Banken brauchen sehr viel Staatsgeld. Dieses Geld hat Spanien aber nicht, weil der Staat ja selbst sehr klamm ist. Hier muss die EZB eingreifen. Und wenn wir das Problem nicht in den Griff bekommen, muss man sich eins vor Augen führen. Spanien ist Griechenland mal zehn. The European Central Bank announced it will be meeting Wednesday, June 6th, and the Bank of England on Thursday, June 7th, to hash out monetary policies for corrective action. But corrective action cannot come fast enough. We take you to Spain where unemployment rates have dipped ever so slightly, but still the numbers illustrate the dire situation the people of Spain are facing. This time last year, records indicate that the jobless rate is up by 12.5%, making Spain's unemployment rate the highest in the Eurozone. Some 4.7 million people, or 24%, remain un unemployed, as shown by Spain's labor ministry. Despite these grim tales, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy is still insisting that Spain does not need assistance from the European Commission to clean up its banking sector. Rajoy, seen here during a meeting with its Singapore's Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister, Tharman Shanmu Garatana, instead called for the establishment of a central authority to oversee and coordinate Eurozone fiscal policy. As Spain's 10-year loan rates approach 7%, Traders hold on tightly and anticipate some good news from this week's central bank meetings. I'm Josh Bolton for IB Times TV.